The following tutorial is an attempt to present solutions to difficulties that animators have been having exporting Toon Boy Sam and other non-standard characters over to iClone. First we must bring Sam onto the stage. Next, the iTarget device should be hidden since it is not useful in our procedures. We can give Sam some dignity by clothing him and demonstrating that exporting Sam to iClone can include the clothing he is wearing. Make more room on the viewport and bring Sam's head into closer view by clicking on his head and referencing the zoom into focus icon. We will now turn our attention to the timeline and begin to create keyframes at each frame interval. However, it is essential that Sam remains in his original T pose throughout these setup procedures for exporting. Each keyframe records his starting position and the neutral position of his various head facial movements. When we record facial morphs on each keyframe, you will notice that when we move to each of the next keyframes, the facial morphs return to their neutral positions. This is absolutely important so as to not blend morphs for these procedures. If you move to any previous keyframes we recorded morphs on, you will notice each has retained the morph we recorded there. Keep moving down the list of facial morphs and record each on the subsequent keyframes. For Sam there are five groups of facial morphs listed and are available to change by means of sliders. In each case, push the sliders up to 100%. In a few instances, a slider's neutral position is in the middle of the control bar. In these cases, the slider is meant to control both left and right, or up and down positions of a facial expression. Each of these sliders you will need to use twice, once for each direction the morph provides. When you are finished with one group of morphs, go on to the next group, recording each morph on each subsequent keyframe. The five groups of facial morphs are, eyes and brows morphs, mouth morphs, tongue morphs, speech morphs, and nose morphs. We will now move ahead to the completion stage. Each morph has been recorded, one per keyframe. The whole process will require nearly 80 keyframes. This allotment should be set up ahead of time, before recording any morph simply for convenience, keeping better track of where you are in a fairly tedious effort. Now select all. This is required for exporting. Once all has been selected, click on the file menu and choose export. This will bring up a save dialog box. Make sure you choose the FBX format option, and then, type in the name of the FBX file you want to create. Save the file, which you then will import into iClone. DAS Studio will bring up a dialog box, that you must ensure has the correct options checked. Make sure Morphs and Animations options are checked and then click on the Edit Morph Export Rules button. The list should only have the final Anything Bake rule listed. Then click on Accept. The exporting then begins. A window appears on the left, showing the names of the parameters and morphs, as they are being recorded. These morphs include the Viceme, that are used to lip-sync your character in iClone.
When this listing has completed, the timeline is traversed, recording the keyframes that hold the morphing structures available in iClone for this character. The T-Pose Problem We are going to move Sam from his initial T-Pose stance, but the problem is that recording the facial morphs, when the character has been moved during the establishing of keyframes and their specific morphs, will often affect or distort the way the morphs behave. Should you accidentally move the character from T-Pose, immediately reset the original pose. This can be done by clicking on the T-Pose icon from either of two places as shown, and then clicking on the Restore Figure Pose menu item. This will restore the original pose, from which we need to work. Setting up the timeline with 80 keyframes. Bring up a new instance of Toon Boy Sam, removing the iTarget device, but do not clothe the character. Make sure you click on his head, to place the focus on this area of the character. Notice the timeline. Initially it is set to 30 frames. However, we need about 80 frames for exporting the full number of facial morphs for Sam. To increase the available and visible 80 frames, go to the Animate Toolbar. Use the Zoom slider to make at least 80 frames visible. Then, move the Terminator marker slightly past the 80th frame. We still need to see this many frames on the timeline, so, with the Terminator marker left past 80, zoom the Animate Toolbar so that the frames on the bar, are widely spread apart. We may have to adjust the zoom a couple of times, to show the frames we need on the timeline. Now, click on the Timeline tab, and make sure you can see all 80 frames. Starting at frame 0. Move to frame 1, and set a keyframe. Do this for all subsequent frames until you have make 80 keyframes. All these keyframes will reference Sam's T-Pose, until you record specific facial morphs in each. By creating the keyframes ahead of time, you start at the initial pose or morph condition for each new keyframe. Capturing the eye morphs Capturing Sam's eye movements requires special procedures. First, click on Sam's head to place the focus there. Click on the Scene tab, and then highlight the head bone in the bone hierarchy. Next, locate and highlight the eye target bone under the head bone, and proceed to the Parameters tab. Click on the All menu item, to reveal the morph sliders for Toon Boy's eyes. Choose the look up down slider, moving it to the right. That, will cause the eyes to look down. Use a value of 20 to get a reasonable maximum. When you type in a value rather than use the slider, you may have to click away, to engage the new value. For this process, the timeline is not directly used. So, right click on the character and select all. Then, proceed to export the singular, iMorph in FBX format. Give the FBX file a recognizable name like Sam's eyes down.
continue on to create another FBX export in the same way. Only, use the same slider to export the lookup. Now, we will create a third iMorph export, but we will deliberately forget to reset the previous morph slider. Reset the previous slider so that we do not get an undesirable blend between the two morphs. This third morph FBX file will provide for moving Sam's eyes to the left. These exports can be done for morphs that cannot be exported in the usual timeline keyframe method demonstrated previously. Moving the slider the other way turns Sam's eyes to the right. These FBX files will later be imported or added to the usable morphs list in iClone. Importing SAM FBX into iClone.